Hello mga anak! Uh, this is your Tate Brian. Okay, so um, for this one, we will be discussing about, maybe um, this will be last for a bit long, okay? Because we will be discussing thoroughly about how to be able to work at home, okay? Or temporary work from home. So kindly um, take down notes, okay? So we will be able to help you out with this, okay? First, uh, but before anything else, we would like to introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Brian Hernandez, owner of East and West. So basically, we train and employ people. So we help you to be able to be employed in the call center. So, okay, let's go now. Okay. So East and West, uh, we are uh, accredited by TESDA, okay? Technical Education Skills Development Authority. So uh, we have trained over 873 batches. Okay, 874 and 875 was trained through, um, we just give advice for them, okay? Virtual, okay, 874, 875. So, East and West, okay, here. So, the meaning of East and West, the whole, whole name of East and West, East and West Center for Excellence in Training Corporation. So, basically, we train and employ, okay? We are the call center training of call centers. So, before um, they are in the call center, so basically, we are the one to mold them. For them to be able to help them out in the call center. Uh, before almost 100% are applying in our company, those that have no call center experience. But for now, most of the people uh, now, it's about 60-40. 60% no experience, 40% has experience. But because of this COVID, it becomes 50-50. Uh, sometimes 60% 40%. 60% experience, 40% with no experience in the call center. Okay? So yeah, here, East and West. So, so far we were awarded, okay, so far by um, TESDA as the national champion of 2013. Out of um, millions of TESDA graduates, I was awarded number one, okay? So you can also see my video here uh, that won to talk TESDA, grand national winner. From being a peddler, selling stuff, tables, and chairs, house to house, okay? Um, I became a successful CEO, okay? But my success is not just about money. Success is helping out other people. From me, I was able to help 10,000 people, okay? You can check in the other video that we have. And from 10,000 people, now we have training and employed 42,000 people already, okay? Documented in the... Yeah, here. Manila Bulletin, okay? Manila Bulletin of August 12 of 2018. So, so far we have training employed, okay? So here, you can just see uh, training employed about 28,000 people. And afterwards, yeah, we, we uh, it's over 42,000 people already, okay? Yeah, here, some pictures for documentation. Yeah, I won here 100,000 pesos, 2013, Grand National Winner. 2014, um, out of hundreds and thousands of schools in the Philippines, also awarded as a school category, best in video. Okay? That's well. Okay? So, individual 2013 and uh, school based category or in, um, in uh, what do you call this? Uh, they call it institutional base. Okay? Yeah. Again, for those people that are watching, this is not only for training, this is also for employment. We want you to get a job because. Uh, training will be useless if you are not going to be employed, okay? Next, okay. Also credited, yeah. Also awarded by uh, the governor of Laguna. Basically, we started with Laguna, okay? Now, all over Calabarzon and also NCR, National Capital Region, okay? And hopefully, in the whole Philippines. Yeah, for now, it will be the whole Philippines because uh, we're now virtual, okay? I'm trying to share it to you, okay? Um, soon, we'll be launching the program, which is mobile training. Mobile training program, yeah. Soon. Okay, some permit of test done. Yeah, here. Well, school base. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mobile training program. Yeah. Soon. Okay. Just need some revisions. Okay, and the Department of Labor and Employment. Yeah. Uh, we are not an agency. So basically, all of you will be for direct employment. No salary deduction. So for this one, it's Dole Integrated Livelihood and Emergency Employment Program. For those that wants um, to have livelihood, so basically from the word itself, it's livelihood and how to emerge in the industry as well. Okay. Uh, also certification of no pending case from the Department of Labor. Yeah, here. Hello, Burson. Okay. Uh, regional as well, Department of Labor as well. 
and Dole and the second uh I forgot this. Um NLRC. National Labor Relations Commission, a region and uh, provincial. Okay. So so far some of them that we have trained and employed, yeah. Some of them Okay, yeah. Some of them, yeah. Here? Yeah, Jensen and Stasha, okay. Uh, high school grad, okay. Then now he's one of the successful call center agents, okay. Them as well. Former production operators, okay, yeah. John Ortiz and Jeremiah, okay. Those people, some of the people we trained. Bonus Arcon, Bonus Arcon is from San Pablo. Uh, he's a P person with disability. Uh, his um his left eye is blind. Okay. Okay. So basically, there's no discrimination when you want to work in the call center. And last but not the least, Banquero. Banquero from Pagsanghan. Okay. Hard as well. Okay. Yeah. From being a Banquero, now he's one of the, the one of the successful call center agents in the Philippines. Okay. So basically, yeah, the there's a program that we have is R. Okay. Yeah, we have school based program. Yeah. In our building, okay. Mobile training, okay. Just need some more revisions in the mobile training. Community based training, yeah. Aside from call center, we also give other trainings as well. So, agri as well, yeah. Agriculture soon as well. Okay, we have the certification already as a learning site, yeah. So, this one uh, call center, and the next one will be for people that will be relocating, okay. Hopefully. Uh, we can give them a livelihood for farmers as well. So, rural and urban as well. Yeah. Okay, what else? What else? Okay. Yeah, here. So far, one of my awards. Okay. Um, top Outstanding Filipino Awards of 2019. I was recognized. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Tafel. Okay. So, in the field of education. Okay, in the field of education. Yeah. So, basically, the program is here. Yeah, I put in the nomination book. Okay, so kakulangan mo pupunuan ko. Okay, di ba? Para hugot na hugot. <laughs> okay, so not all person have most of the persons have problem when it comes to communication skills. Some have a problem when it comes to computer skills. Okay, so now basically we we supply we became the we we become the bridge for them to be able to um, be better in when it comes to communication. So. Communication skills. What are the problems with communication skills? Accent. Okay. When you say accent, um, in the consular industry, there are kinds of accent that are um, permitted. Okay. Number one. What are they? Uh, the first one would be American accent. So you have to speak like an American. How you open your mouth and how you'll be able to pronounce words. Or neutral accent. When you say neutral accent, it's not American. It is not other languages. It's a language that is normally permitted, okay? They know that you're not an American, but they know that uh, it's it's permitted or they recognize as normally um, Americans know that you're not a Philippine. They're not, you're not, they're native, you don't have their native language, but as long as you're understandable, okay? But what is not permitted is one, regional accent. Okay, you cannot have regional accent. Okay, um, there are two types of regional accent international regional accent and local regional accent. When you say regional accent, uh, international uh, basically it will be it will sound like, um, hello sir, how are you doing today? Okay, so basically those are those that are for the Middle Eastern. Okay, they sound like that. Okay, it's, there ha there's a big um, round uh, no, uh, voice that they have. Okay, so next would be um, in the Philippines. If it's local international, uh, local uh, regional accent, it will be going for those that are living in Visayas, Mindanao. Okay, so actually there's no discrimination. Um, they just have to filter the the accent. Okay, so maybe I will be giving that uh, for another topic that we will be having. Okay, so how to be able to filter. The regional accent, okay? Just open your mouth, okay? So some tips, okay? If you want to be able to eliminate those regional accent, um, tips, 
watch movies okay watch movies uh listen to english note um okay for me watching no um basically you have to listen okay it's not just the watch it's not the eyes that should be working it should be your ears okay because the more that you listen to them the more that you get their innation or their accents okay so watch more of that uh or surround yourself with those people that are uh, speaking the language which is english okay oh, what else okay so what else can i advise uh, okay so those are some lessons that i would like to share to you um at the end of this program uh, this this video i will give you some some notes okay so let uh, let us uh, end this program okay um let us let you listen to the whole program okay don't end this this video yet okay so what else so uh going back to the topic okay so when it comes to temporary work from home so there are two types of um because of the covid right now uh, there are two types of setting okay the first one will be center base you are to report to the office and you have to travel okay so we have accounts that has that okay that's number one so from this location from your location you have to travel to be able to work that's what you call center base okay uh, we have the offer which is up to 30,000 peso uh, per month with HMO benefit first day okay so we also have a uh, temporary work from home and said temporary work from home you are going to be provided okay so once you pass the whole process you will be provided uh, laptops equipments uh, what else? Uh, or desktop or you can also be provided you will also be provided headsets as well okay with noise cancellation okay so that's what we're going to be provided for you okay so what else uh, can I give you okay for the process uh, most of the people are interested with number one the temporary work from home when you see temporary work from home um, I already explained that but let me explain the process thoroughly okay number one so there will the first process would be is you have to register okay so you have to fill out a form okay after filling out the form okay that i will be sending it to you okay after that you'll be able uh, we will be okay encoding it okay so there are people that are not encode uh encoding okay so we need the form basically what they do is they send a resume so that will take time okay so we prioritize people who um answered okay all okay answered the form okay then afterwards send the resume okay so if you want to be prioritized uh fill out first the form then afterwards send the resume okay then afterwards watch this video for you to be processed and for you to know what will be the process okay okay then afterwards after sending that uh, to the to our recruiter what happens is you will be called up okay when you're going to be called up just um, the word would be connect you have to connect always with me okay your tate brian because if you haven't been called yet so we have to put your file on priority okay so the only way to do that is for you to connect with me okay so they will be asking how will you connect with me okay so yeah you can just comment in this video or before you go here before you watch this video basically i send you pm or private message and for you to and before you're going to be called i also texted i also personally text you okay and all the advices that i have to give to you before you be able so you will be able to pass okay afterwards okay so this will be company a okay let's talk about company a. the first process will be done is assessment they will call you up okay ring ring okay uh, hi um this is is this uh mr um ramon ramon okay ramoncito okay ramoncito reyes okay example Oh yeah, this is Mr. Mr. Ramon C. Yes, okay. So they will be asking, uh, the first process would be assessment. They will check if you are, um, if you are qualified, okay? Number one, they'll be asking, they can ask you about your education. 
So you have to be a high school grad, okay? There are two types of high school grad. The first one, you are, uh, you're going to be talking about high school grad is old curriculum, 2013 and below, okay? You have to be high school grad because there's, there's no K-12 that time. But if it's 2013 and above, you have to have a certificate, uh, you have to have a diploma of K-12 for you to qualify because the entry level is high school grad. So college level, college grad, you're admitted. And next, they will always ask you also if you have a document, okay? If you're a high school grad, old curriculum, you have to have a diploma. If not, Form 137 or Form 138. If, okay, if you are K-12, of course, you'll be asking for your... Uh, for monthly seven, for monthly as well, and diploma as well. Okay, college level, you have they will be asking your T O R or transcript of records. And for college grad, you have to have your college diploma or T O R as well. Class cards are not okay. Uh, we don't accept class cards. Okay, so you have to confirm that you have those documents. Okay, so to proceed with the program. Uh, second, uh, that will be asked of you. Okay, so. It can be asked or it cannot be asked, but be careful with this. Um, EWOL. EWOL. Cla um, company A does not accept EWOL. Okay, absent without official leave. Or you're still connected with the company. Okay, so be mindful of that. Okay, so if not, guys, so you have to be cleared first. Okay, or if you want to answer, you can answer, yes, I can I can have it or already have it. Okay, then after you have to process it. Okay, because you are not going to work, you are not going to start to work if you are not going to comply with the documents. Okay, but you still have ample time. Okay, so you just have to pass and just have to have the ample time to be able to finish all of your documents. Okay, but nowadays there will be a problem for that. Basically, companies are lenient when it comes to that. Okay. Okay, so next would be, uh, after that process, that's what you call as, um, assessment. No, it's screening process, the, pr the first part. The second part would be, they will be calling you up for a language assessment. So they will assess how good you are when it comes to speech. Okay, so let me help you out on this. So part one, so you have to download Zoom. Okay, Zoom. So everyone knows Zoom. Okay, if you don't know Zoom, you can just go uh, go to your just download um, Z O O M. So why Zoom? Okay, because it has clear signal, and be sure you have you have a stable connection, or if you don't have a stable connection, at least you have a load. Okay, that is very important. Okay, so after that, okay, what else? Okay. So you will be connected to the assessor, okay? Then you have to introduce yourself to the assessor, okay? So very careful with introduction of yourselves. They don't they don't want to hear, oh, I am my my father's name is Rodelia Hernandez and my mother's name is Soliana Oranza. They don't care about that, okay? So when you are going to go for introduction of yourselves is hi, uh, my name is Brian Hernandez. My friends call me, you just give a nickname. Okay, if you don't have a nickname, create a nickname. Okay, just for you to just uh, uh, just for you to have the conversation. Rapport is very important. Okay, so next would be okay. I always say okay. <laughs> okay, so those those are my fillers. So you have to. How do you do it? Okay, for me, hi sir, my name is Brian Hernandez. Um, Brian, B R Y E N. It came from my father gave the name to me because of a song. Uh, he, I just told my father, uh, okay, when he was still living, <laughs> okay, as I'm still alive, uh, okay. There's a problem if you make mistakes, okay. As long as it's conversive, you have to be conversive. Don't go to the interview that you are. You have a script. Yeah, you have a script. Yeah, you have a format. But never go to the interview that you are scripted, okay? Again, the interview for temporary work from home is virtual. So it's over the phone. Be sure that you have a stable connection when you are going for the interview. Be careful with that. Or else it can affect your performance, okay? That's why they're using Zoom, okay? So have load, okay? And you have to go to a quiet place. Or else you hear some backgrounds or some, some dogs barking, okay? 
So this is how you do. So tell me something about yourself. Hi, sir. My name is your nickname. How you're how are you given the name? Okay, so I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Commerce, major in banking and finance. I've been in the industry for how many years? I've been in the industry for 24 years when the call center started. I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Commerce, major in Banking and Finance. I was not able to use the course, which is Banking and Finance, okay? Why did I took the course? Um, they took the course because that's the only course in commerce that has less math, okay? Compared to others, especially accountancy. Okay, so um what else what else do i have you can see okay work wise i work in the um, call center okay team leader supervisor operations manager then afterwards i became a college uh, i became a school really a student relations manager then i was handling students okay then afterwards i became i was promoted after six months as one of the youngest school director okay at the university um the university i worked for is ame Okay, that's Amy Computer University. Okay, so I have to say that. Yeah, that's, that's true. Okay, then afterwards, I put up my own company, my own school. Okay, then now I have trained and employed uh, 42,000 people already. So whatever you told the person, you will be asked. So my tip, make 20 questions. Make 20 questions of what you said to the interviewer because it will be asked of you. Okay, example. So, oh, okay, write it down. One, two, until to 20. Okay, so 20. Okay, so what can be the possible? When, when I'm going to say this, what will be the possible question that will be asked of me? Number one, yeah, this will be asked of me. Number two, again, you have a format that, that no memorize. At least 20 questions for you to be prepared, okay? So they will be asking you a question that is what have you, what, uh, it's on how, how you be able to see it, okay? So as long as you remember, oh, okay. So you have to be conversant. Always talk, okay? Always build rapport. Rapport is connection with the, um, your interviewer. Remember, it's over the phone, but it's not just via phone. They can see you. It's Zoom, okay? So don't be conscious, okay? Yes. What else? Okay, so after that, that's called free speech. And they can give you a topic. They can give you a topic which is you'll be discussing for two to three minutes. Okay. So yeah, they can ask you, oh, what's your interest? Okay. Uh, possible questions that are asked of you, if I can remember right. Um, how do you remember your first birthday? Uh, uh, your first birthday, of course, you don't remember that. Um, give me your most memorable birthday. Okay, so you can see something which is... Oh, it's memorable. It, I was one. I was one year old. Oh my god. Okay, it's impossible because you cannot remember anything when you're one year old. Okay, so the safest would be eight years old, um, ten years old, seven, nine years old. So those that are celebrated, but never see something which is unre uh, uh, unrealistic. Okay, so always go to the real, of reality. Okay, so. So you have to be able to discuss that. At least prepare for two to three minutes. What else? Um, sports. Normally the assessor wants you to talk. Okay, you have to speak up. Okay, but bear, be be careful with this. Okay, the Filipino, the translation of Filipino going to English. That is basically the problem. Most of the Filipinos have a problem when they interview, try to interview them. They translate Filipino going to English will never break. Okay, example. Um, one example would be, uh, okay, pasikot-sikot. Okay, oh, gusto ko pang sasalita ka, gusto ko diretso, ayoko ng pasikot-sikot. When you say pasikot-sikot, uh, in English, it would be going around the bush. So, if you can see, if you try to translate it, pasikot-sikot, going around the bush, it's different. Okay, there's no comparison. So there's no direct translation of Filipino going to English. Another example. I have long patience. Okay, so who among you understood what I said? Raise your hands. Okay, number one. There's no such thing as long patience. Okay, if you can, under can understand what I told you, number one is you're always using that. Okay, you're into Filipinism. That's what we call Filipinism. So avoid that, okay? Um, so what does it mean? 
Okay, mahabang aking pasensya. Okay, so when you try to translate that into English, okay, so again, there's no direct translation going to English, okay? You have to think in English to be able to speak in English, okay? So let me just give you a tip for that. Um, for you to be able to do that, it's what you call mirror talk. You have to face the mirror, and you have to talk to the mirror for about, for starters, you can do it for an hour, okay, an hour. Speak to the, uh, look, look at the mirror, speak, okay? Um, after two days, after a day, make it one and a half, then two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, you have to talk to the mirror, okay? Talk to the mirror, why? When you are going to converse, okay, we have public speaking, you have to see yourself, okay? But you're not just looking at your physical self, you're looking also at your inner self, okay? And you have to speak, okay, freely in English. Think in English to be able to speak in English. No translation. Because you have to take out the translation of Filipino going to English. Understood? Okay, very good. Okay, you forgot that. Okay, so face the mirror. Talk for an hour and a half. Then two hours, three hours more. Then surround yourself with English. Okay? I know sometimes it, you look like a lunatic. Okay? That happens. Okay, so I have trained... We have trained 875 five batches already, 42,000 people already, uh, more than 40,000 people already. So, yeah, it was effective for them. Actually, I did it. Uh, me. I feel, I'm a college grad, but I failed 10 times, okay? But whatever I'm telling you to do, I already did it as well, okay? Aside from the course that it took, okay, and the experiences, that's what I did as well, okay? So just have to follow it, okay? Just follow that they Brian, okay? Okay, so what else? Um, number two, word list. So be careful with the pronunciation, okay? Actually, in the other videos, I already discussed this, but this should be thorough, okay? So be careful. Consonant vowels, consonant vowels. At the end of this um, video, I'll uh, try to help you out with this, okay? Um, I'll s try to screenshot this. I'll try to show it to you so you'll be able to use it. Uh, or be able to, I use, normally use um, tongue twister. Okay, hi again. Okay, so tongue twister are not made for you to go fast. Uh, tongue twister are made for you to be able to pronounce the words properly, okay? At the end of this, um, uh, in this discussion or this virtual teaching, I'll be able to show it to you, okay? And teach as well and to make you follow, okay? So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, okay? So what else? Uh, word list, okay? So you have to pronounce the words properly, okay? So it's a bit tricky. So there are certain words that are given to us. Um, so be careful with this. So I'll be teaching you the P and the F later, okay? Okay, so yeah, what else? Okay, and um, last, it will be mock call. Okay, hi again. Okay, so for Maka, uh, basically this will be the last part. Um, you are given a situ call situation and you are required to assist, uh, okay? You are assist the um, customer. So you will pretend that you, okay, your assessor will be the customer. And uh, you are the customer agent. So you have to pretend, okay, via phone. Then there should be a call opening. Opening, okay? So yeah, another tip. Okay, always open your mouth. I'm very sorry this conversation. I was not able to open more of the mouth. Okay, so if you see it's mumbling. So you have to open more of the mouth for you to be able to pronounce well words. Okay, so understand and solve the issue. So you'll be given the issue. Example, late delivery, what happened to the late delivery and how you'll be able to handle it. Okay, hold procedure if applicable. Example, you have to ask. Uh, late delivery and you have to ask the person... Okay, I have to confirm with my... I, have, I cannot see that I have to confirm with the supervisor. Please wait for a while. Okay, Mr. Smith, example. The name is person Mr. Smith. Then afterwards, you call back. Oh, yeah, sir. Um, because of this. Because remember, you are not the owner of the company. Okay, you are... So you are an employee of the company. So you have to confirm first with your superiors. But you cannot see in the... In, you cannot see over the phone that you have to consult the superior. Uh, what else? Anything else I can help you out with and the call closing. Okay, so now let's go for the other topics. Okay.
Okay. So now, as promised, these are some words that you can use. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Let me show it to you. Yeah. Here. So there would be. It's like a tongue. It's a tongue. Actually, it's a tongue twister. Okay. So example. Kick. Keep. Keep. Keeps. Kin. Okay. So let's show it to you. I can just screenshot this afterwards. Okay. Here. Okay. So kick. Keep. Kep. Keep. Keeps. Kin. Lead. Led. Lead. Led deal. Fix Mike's kites. Feed Meg's hen. Okay? So you have to speak slow as well. Um, number four. Pick six beaks. Seek. Uh, seek. Big peaks. Mix men met Mike's team. She sells seashells by the seashore. So you have to at least make it longer. Uh, my technique for that would be consonant vowel. Consonant vowel. When you say consonant, um, example, the word is. Okay. Uh, seashore. So you don't say um, S, okay? So you say seashore, okay? So you have to make it longer. Seashore. Rather than say seashore, you say seashore. You have to be able to pronounce the words properly. Okay. Yep, as promised, the tongue twister. Yeah, maybe you can take a picture of this. If it's not clear, I try to send you a copy. Just try to give a PM, okay? Because I cannot give some of the copies, okay? Because it's a bit confidential. But for this one, copy, yeah, you can just Google this if ever. Yeah, tongue twister. Yeah. So let's just go for the sample. Again, tongue twister are made not for you to go fast. Tongue twister are made for you to pronounce the words properly. So very careful the. Uh, con pronunciation. Okay, so let's go for this. Tongue twister PNF. Okay. Twister when um twister Philip and Patrick. Okay, again, when there's it's with this PH, it will be an F sound. Okay. Twister Philip and Patrick, political friends for the past five years, patiently followed their fearless president Philemon Punselan. People pondered why Philip and Patrick's participated in that protest for the peace in the Philippines, in Padre Faura. They, called, they always knew these two particular friends to be carefree, Philip, uh, Filipinos. The Philippine uh, Post newspaper probed and probed until finally Philip and Patrick and their fearless president Philemon Ponsalan gave their point flashing a Philippine flag. We have found peace in preaching peace to Filipinos. Then, so the PNF. Um, when, okay, when I go to teach this, I just tell them, okay, when I heard a person, hmm, there's a problem with the PNF, okay? So, first, you have to slow down. Okay, some people miss uh, this are the normal problem because we Filipinos does not have F in our vocabulary. Para sa tao ba So we don't have F, okay? The old one, the old alphabet. And mostly of the Filipino words doesn't use F. Most of the words are P words. So P pronounced like P. And F sounds like an F. Okay, there will be an ear. Okay, so just be careful with that. So, consonant vowel, first, slow down. Second, make it longer. So, consonant vowel and make it longer. Example, okay. Rather than say political, you say political. Okay, friends. Rather than saying friends, you say friends. Friends, make it longer. For those people that does have that does not have that problem, okay, good for you. But those people that have problem, you can just practice on this. Just slow down. Okay, don't to talk fast <laughs> as I talk, all right? And open, always open them out. Uh, now I'm learning that. Uh, okay, so B and V. Okay, okay, last would be for the B and V. So B, Bobby, and V, Vinny. Example B, B. Then V is the V, Vinny. So be careful. There should be a vibration. Example Bobby and Vinny visited the Boston Vineyard with Bobby's brother Vince. The vineyard reminded Bobby of the Baltimore Vikings. So you have to press the B, B, and the V as a V. There should be a vibration for that. 
So the last, okay. So thank you very much for all that watch here, and again have the connection. So I was just going to remind you everything. So you have to listen to whatever I'm going to tell you, and don't you worry. Even if you do have constant experience, you have to be careful with that. Um, you have to have clearance, okay. Um, you have to have connection. If you don't have, just don't. Okay, just inform us so we will be able to help you out with all of your concerns. As in all your concerns, keep connected because our main goal is for you to be employed. Even if you have a concert experience, it's hard if you don't have a connection inside the concert itself. Okay, so we are here to give you the connection. Okay, and if you feel if you. Uh, pass the whole process, okay? So we'll be able to also process your certification as well. That's IELTS, International English. Okay, certification that we can give you. That we taught you the whole process. So again, thank you very much. And more videos to come to, to help you out with this. And hopefully for the next videos, I'll be listening the okay. <laughs> thank you very much. And again, this is your Tate Brian. Always here to help you. And always here just connect. Thank you.